guess what everybody? Granddad's furnace broke down again. Had a different breakdown this time. Look at this. This is the wiring harness that connects the fan to its power wiring. You can see that after time and age, and who knows, maybe my fiddling around in here accelerated its demise. I don't know. But this crimped on connection inside this plastic shroud came unglued and left the fan motor powerless to do its thing. So once again, the air conditioner had to take one for the team. And now I've got to fix this. Fortunately, I think I've got a workaround. I don't have that exact connector with me, and I don't think I can safely repair this. But I did happen across something on my grandfather's workbench that's made of some nice heavy wire. I think this is actually the remnants of an electrical system out of maybe a Power Wheels Jeep is what I think this was. And um, I'm going to take these wires and repurpose them to run this fan until we can get appropriate repair parts because once again it's about 84 degrees in this house and that's no good. So I'm also going to check and make sure that the circuit breakers in this house are labeled to do what I think they are so I don't have a shocking experience because once again working with AC line connected devices like furnaces and other things can be dangerous. So be careful. All right, here's what I've done so far. The big blue wire heading straight toward the camera and the one peeking over the uh, lip right here are my additions. One of them goes to the neutral side of the AC line. The other one goes to the hot side of the AC line. Then they both go down through this hole right here. They come out in the blower compartment. And then, without melting or setting anything on fire or blinding the camera with the light, um, I'll go ahead and strip these off but splice them together, tape everything up, and see if this furnace will run again. But I believe that it certainly ought to. And by the way, I found a date on this thing. I don't know if it's when it was installed or what, but right there, 11-18-1974. So maybe that's the installation date. Maybe that's the first time somebody changed the filter, but I'll use it as a date of uh, installation for this furnace. We'll see if I can get this thing up and running. Well, go ahead and flip the breaker, All right, you ready? and we'll see if this thing starts up. Okay. Either blow up or start up. Better. Yeah, let's see if we're getting any airflow out of anything. You are. Yes, indeed we are. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, go ahead and kill the power, and I'll finish up kill the installation. The All righty, I'll go ahead and clean this up and put everything back together for right now. Looks like that's going to be successful, though. And there's the finalized fix. Not hugely pretty, but functional and safe enough. So, go ahead and get this thing turned back on started air conditioning this house. Phew, it's about 83 degrees in here, and I'm feeling every one of them. All right, here we go. Air conditioning. See what's happening in here. Should be starting up and working though. Stay tuned next week when we find out what evil trick the evil Singer furnace has up its sleeve for us next time.